Good day, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I apologize for not having uh, been updating for a while. I've been kind of busy with some other projects going on. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos, though. Uh, I appreciate your patience in all this. I really do. Um, I will be putting out more videos. So let's get on with it right away. Today we have, now many of you already know I'm a fan of Henry Clay. I've always liked their product. We have the Henry Clay Stock Cut. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yep, there you go. Anyway, uh, we've smoked a few of these already. I really like them. So, thought I would do a review on it. Get the bands off here. They're a little tight. A little hard to pull off on this one anyway. So there we go. Got a nice, uh, nice wrapper on it. Very nice, you can see. All right, about this cigar. Okay, it is a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. Uh, binder is a Dominican Palado, and the filler is Dominican and Honduran. Uh, comes from Dominican Republic. It's touted as a full strength uh, with a Maduro wrapper. So there we go. Alrighty. Now, get on this. Kind of a dark uh, chocolatey aroma to it. Kind of like a mini dark chocolate. Kind of the aroma reminds you of when you walk into uh, one of those chocolate uh, places in the mall, you know, that's kind of what I'm getting here. But it's not very strong. It's a lighter aroma. Okay. Still got my uh, cutter. Very nice. Oh, and for those of you that have been following me for a while, I finally had to retire Old Faithful. She finally gave up the ghost. I was so depressed. Yep, very depressed. She finally gave up the ghost. So, I still got her here. She's still sitting here, but she just won't fire no more. So, I just can't bring myself to throw it away. I should, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Anyway, got that nice V cut. I love this V cutter. This thing is just awesome. Calibri puts them out. Yeah, very nice. Nice draw on it. No resistance. Construction feels real good. Has a slight box press to it, which I like. Nice uh, earthy tobacco aroma coming through on the palate. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of standing in the fields in the spring and smelling that fresh earth turned over by the plows. Very nice. All right. So I have another little toy. Got this thing here. I got this free. So far it's worked out pretty good. I got this free with... Um, an order I got so so far so good it's a triple jet flame but once again it comes all back to putting in the good butane this is what I use the uh, Zycar Purifine triple we find very good stuff has less than 15 parts per million of uh, non-volatile compounds so some very pure stuff nice earthiness to it lovely tobacco aroma coming through 
towards the fuller body side, definitely. Yeah, definitely a fuller bodied cigar. Bit of a kick to it when you first light it. We'll see if it smooths out any as we go along. I'm not getting any of that chocolate I got from the wrapper aroma. And not getting any of that at all. Then definitely getting the earthiness from the pre-draw. That's coming through very nicely. A bit of pepper back through the nose. A bit of dark pepper back through the nose. Nice aroma back through the nose. Get a bit of a orange peely tang to it, sort of. Just very, very light. Burning a little off, but it's got a nice white ash to it, as you can see. Very nice white ash. It's burning a little off, but I think it'll even out. I think it'll be okay. So, but I'm liking that white ash. Nice draw to it. Very nice draw. No resistance whatsoever. So. There's a little bit of sweetness on the lips from the broadleaf wrapper, just a little bit. So, all right. Well, I will give this a pause. And then I will update you when we get about halfway through. All right, as you can see, about halfway now. Uh, very good cigar so far. Construction has been excellent. Haven't had any problems with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. It evened up on the burn quite a bit, as you can see. We don't have that problem anymore. Still nice white ash on there. I'm liking that white ash. So it's been doing very well. It has smoothed out a lot. There was a little bite at the beginning there, but that's went away and it's very smooth now. Uh, a little of that chocolate's coming through now. Still a bit of su uh, sweetness on the lips from the broadleaf wrapper. It's uh, not so much a peppery on the nose now as you're getting that earthiness coming through on the nose. Yeah has a bit of a um, um, I don't know if you've ever done this but have you ever roasted ear corn on the grill left it in a husk and then roasted it on your grill I'm kind of getting that aroma out of it just a very slight bit of it yep definitely getting some sweetness now even in the smoke, so that's coming through quite a bit. Like I said, construction's been excellent. Haven't had any problem with that. Burning good. Draw still good. Blaze well on the palate. Very well. Not very smooth on the palate, so little more about this uh, cigar I was reading about it some more <clears throat> excuse me um, it is uh, made in old classic Cuban style which I guess you can see that 
Uh, it's made from a uh, 2012 vintage Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. And that is on top of a 2010 vintage Dominican Palato binder. And the filler con consists of 2012 vintage Dominican Orlo, 2012 Dominican uh, vintage Dominican Palato, and a 2013 vintage Nicaraguan Carrillo. So, there you go. Uh, a little more detail about the tobaccos, uh, their origin and uh, their date and stuff. Still getting very good smoke through it. Very good. All right. Well, I will pause this and then I will uh, update you when it finishes up. All right, as you can see, coming down to the end of it, been a very good smoke so far. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, construction's been top notch, haven't had any problem with that. Uh, burning good, still getting that nice white ash, as you can see. Uh, so far, so good. I've enjoyed it. Uh, get, still getting a bit of sweetness on the lips from the wrapper leaf. Uh, got a bit of sweetness on the palate from it now, too. It's getting a little bit of a light coffee to it, just a bit. Kind of a mocha coffee, actually. What it's really like, so. A bit of earthiness still there, a little bit, so. Alright, well, if you give it a try, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen.